Hey, what's up? It's Mikhail Kush, and welcome back to my studio. I've recently gotten super into soul type beats like FKJ, Daniel Caesar, and Pink Sweats, which inspired me to produce a track called Sunday Morning. And I want to break it down for you. To get started, I just grabbed my guitar and fiddled around on the fretboard. After about 20 minutes, I had this progression and recorded it. I then ran it through an LA-2A compressor to smooth out the peaks and just give it a more even feel overall. After the first round of compression, I threw Ableton's amp plugin on the signal chain, uh, set it to clean and turned the dry wet up to about 50%. Next up, I used an EQ to roll off some of the low end and tame an irritating resonance at about 180 Hertz. I then added a little more compression with Ableton's glue compressor and finished up the signal chain with an EQ to make a little bit more space in the low end. After I had the guitar's processing done, I pulled up an instance of Serum and loaded a kalimba from Harold O'Neill's Soul Pack. Did some really basic processing, EQ for the low end, compression for some of the nasty peaks, and then another EQ just to make a bit more space in the low end. To add more depth to the overall harmonic progression of the track, I layered the kalimba with this preset in Serum, simplified the notes and came up with this pattern. For the first chorus, I didn't want to add too many layers, so I essentially just added this kick pattern and some snaps. I then picked up my guitar again and just freestyled on the fretboard until I came up with a melody that sounds like this. Something I love doing is chopping up a piece of a melody and reversing it to create a new effect. So I chopped a piece of the guitar melody, reversed it, and bam, I had a cool new transition effect. And before I forget, to add a bit more rawness and mood into the track, I added a sample of an ambient recording and just looped it throughout the entirety of the track. The second verse is essentially just like the intro, except I added a quick breath just to release some tension. To make this breath, I just recorded myself gasping like a transposed it up five semitones, added a 30 second note echo, and set the dry wet to 27%. For the second half of the second verse, I loaded up another instance of Serum and flipped through presets until I found this one. I copied over the MIDI from the intro and hit the legato button just to make the notes full length. To build up some more tension before the second chorus hits, I dropped in an instance of auto filter and automated the frequency to open as it approaches the chorus. When this chorus hits, I wanted to have a lot of power and I wanted to sound full. So for the percussion, I dropped this hi-hat loop, set the warp mode to beats and lowered the transient envelope to 40. This basically acts like a gate and shortens each hit in that loop just a touch. Next, I loaded up Drum Lab and programmed this pattern.
All together, the percussion sounds like this. After I had all the drums and percussion done, I got to work on the bass. I used the Scarby MM bass and came up with this bass line. I then loaded up another instance of the AMP plugin from Ableton, uh, selected bass, kept the dry wet at 100% and added a filter to take away some of the highs. The bass line and the guitars seemed to clash a bit, so I added an EQ and just removed some of the low mids. Nearing the end of the chorus, I felt like it needed another counter melody, so I just pulled up the stock grand piano and freestyled on the keys until I came up with this. The bridge is by far one of my favourite parts of the track. I basically duplicated the chorus, left all the rhythmic stuff, uh, removed all the harmonic stuff except for the stabs that I used as a layer in the intro. Altogether, the bridge sounds like this. Well that's about it for today, if there's anything you'd like me to explain in more detail just drop a comment below and I'll get back to you there. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I also upload videos like the one you're about to see onto Instagram on a weekly basis. So if you'd like to check more of those you can follow me at mikhail.kush.